caused by melting snow and heavy rain. Our KGW crews fanned out all around the area to get a look at the trouble spots. And we start with KGW's Mike Benner, who's live along Highway 30 in Multnomah County. Mike? Yeah, Laurel, you said it. We're uh, live along Highway 30 at Northwest Rocky Point Road. You'll notice the signs behind me. We can tell you that uh, Rocky Point Road is close between here and Skyline Boulevard, and I want to show you why. Take a look at this video. About a mile and a half up from where we're at, crews noticed a crack in the pavement. Sometimes you'll see a crack right before a slide. That, of course, is dangerous, so the road's been closed for assessment. It goes without saying, lots of rain out here, plenty of snow melt, too. It's called causing a lot of problems from here through Columbia County. This is not normal at all. At the end of Nimitz Street in St. Helens, a wall of sandbags is all that stands between a neighborhood of homes and the high, fast-moving Milton Creek. We call it our annual creek watch. I mean, it, it happens when there's snow, snow melting, rain. We come out here and we watch. Watch and hope that the water either recedes or is kept at bay by the sandbags dropped off by complete strangers like Bob Jenkins. I've lived in the community for 14 years. Uh, I used to be a volunteer firefighter, so I just, uh, something that uh, if I've got the time, I'm gonna help somebody out. McCormick Park in St. Helens certainly could have used some of that help. Just look at the water rushing through the green space early Tuesday afternoon. And Sky 8 gives us a bird's eye view of even more flooding across Columbia County. Pretty incredible. And check this out. The South Scapoose Creek spilled its banks and spilled into Jeff Young's basement, destroying so much in the process. It's disappointing, but, you know, you, you roll with the punches. I've had worse things happen. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, that is a nervous laugh because there's nothing funny about these high waters. Just ask neighbors on Nimitz Street in St. Helens. They'll be watching Milton Creek into the night. We just pray. We just sit and pray and just to keep a watch and make sure that all our neighbors are taken care of. Yeah, certainly hoping for the best for folks living along that creek. Those one neighbor put it uh, in the hills above town. There's still plenty of snow that needs to melt, so it could get a lot worse before it gets better. As for Rocky Point Road right here behind me, at this point, we do not know when it will reopen. Reporting live in Multnomah County, I'm Mike Benner for KGW News. I'm Pat Doris in Rainier, where heavy rains blew up the tiny Fox Creek today. Viewer video shows how high the water got on Highway 30. For a while last night and this morning, it stood a foot deep. The water poured over the sidewalk and into the parking lot of the grocery outlet, causing the asphalt to collapse at one corner. Three businesses near the creek were flooded, including the Rainier RV Center. It was about a foot of water in the building, so it was about... Yeah, there's quite a bit of water in the building, so it brought in a bunch of mud with it. So we're cleaning that up and we'll have it all dialed in for tomorrow. The mayor of Rainier declared a state of emergency, hoping to get state or federal money to help the city fix the problem with Fox Creek flooding. He thinks the ultimate solution may be a bridge here over Fox Creek.